water, everybody. My name's Harry James. A whole, whole, whole lot of OU football to get into. We'll preview Oklahoma Baylor, the next game on the list, plus some curtain news. And why Oklahoma fans shouldn't be too worried that the other Gundy, Mike Gundy, walked to Edmund Santa Fe and stole an OU target from right under the map of the Sooner State and good old Link. Don't worry about it, Sooner fans. Tell you why. Oh, next. That and the preview. OU Baylor. Boomer Sooner 1982. my show everybody my name's Harry James Sooner fans please relax don't worry we're all good Taylor Shetron of course signed with our beloved Oklahoma Sooners his parents dad and mom OSU season ticket holders his stepbrother was offered by the cow pokey naggies after that, he was offered. So, Tylon and Tardy both going to go to OSU and play for OSU. And Mike Gundy, the Shetron brothers, will be on the other side of the field. Uh, Tylon, of course, was supposed to be wearing the Crimson and Cream, Oklahoma. Now he'll be wearing Oklahoma's brightest orange. And it's not that big of a deal. Now, it's not because he's not a good player. The deciding factor wasn't even the fact that his parents are OSU fans and season ticket holders. The big hog in the press in, in the in the deal here, Tarby Shetron, his stepbrother that he grew up with. Guys, this is no big deal. You don't want to do this. A lot of OU fans. Why not just offer Tarby so that you can keep Taylor on online? No. Tarby is a two-star athlete right now, uh, according to rivals. Guys, you don't do that. Listen to some of these names that have played the same position that Tarby is playing. A guy that I grew up watching. He was there in Oklahoma when I could have been in Oklahoma as a student from 01 to 04. Trent Smith, the 88. Remember him, guys, that flew all the planes and all that? He's there. Uh, former Oklahoma Sooner and now OU assistant Joe John Finley's on this list. Now we get to the NFL guys. Like Jermaine Gresham was at Oklahoma from 2006 to 2008. Most recently was with Arizona in 16. Uh, of course, our old OU buddy and my old OU buddy and Dallas Cowboy James Hanna. Was that OU from 2009 to 2012? Of course, later went on to the Cowboys. Then you get to the more recent guys, like Mark Andrews. Marky Mark, 2015 to 2018, played for and is still playing for the Baltimore Ravens. Then a couple of transfers that were still good at Oklahoma. What about Grant Kelchura? Remember that catch that he had in that Big 12 championship against Big Bad Texas? Oh, I still remember my old OU buddy that, by the way, is also on this tight ends list, but what could be on this tight ends list was but was moved to the offensive line. Gabe Eichert. Oh, my. Making that catch. And then uh, he 
is now, Grant Calcutta, that is now going to be at SMU. And most most recently, uh, Jalen Conyers, 2019 product, going to go and transfer into Arizona State and play for the Herminator. All four years of eligibility left with last year being COVID. And those are just the guys that aren't on campus yet, guys. What about Luke Haz? Now, he's a 3-4 star kid that could not be on his way up to a 5-star recruit talent out of Bixby. And you're going to tell me that you're going to turn down this kid if he says yes next year for 2021. You're going to tell him no, or 2022, I'm sorry. You're going to tell this kid at Bixby no because you want to keep Taylon Sheltron? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Sorry, guys. You do not play second fiddle to anybody at Oklahoma. You can't do that. You have to get the best players that you can get available. And right now, you weren't just going to offer uh, the little brother to get the big brother to stay committed to Oklahoma. Not going to happen. Will never happen. Uh-uh. You've got to be talented to be here at Oklahoma. And if you don't got the talent, you ain't got the talent. And that's just how it is, guys. You cannot... Cannot do it. So, speaking of being talented and not having the talent, that kind of depends on what you think. And that's kind of like how Baylor played last year. Quite a bit. But they did turn it around. The Baylor Bears at a Waco, Texas. 2-7. and 2-7 seven, and seven in Big 12 play. Ninth in the league. They did beat Kansas State by a pat. That's a P-A-T if you don't know what that means. 32-31. In Waco, Waco at the McLean Stadium. Uh, their head coach, Dave Aranda, in his second season at uh, Baylor and his second season also at a Power 5 school in the Big 12. Trying to keep the offense turning. Turning from the Mormon BYU offense to the Baylor offense won't be easy. But it'll get a little bit easier with Jacob Zeno on campus. Zeno, only 18 yards passing last year, a season-long eight yards, zero touchdowns, zero picks for the guy. But Oklahoma Sooner fans, remember this guy, Jacob Zeno, from that Big 12 championship game that my dad and I went to. Oh, baby, he had a huge second half. Almost led the Waco Baylor Bears back in that one, just like we Rushed back on them in the original game. Rushers for Baylor. Craig Williams, number 20, and 14, Quan Jones. Quaylon Jones. We'll start with Craig Williams. 39 carries last year. 137, 197 yards. Two touches. That's touchdowns for all you guys. 32 was his longest carry. Quaylon uh, Jones. Uh, 34 carries. A buck 24 on the ground, zero touchdowns, 15 yards was his longest run. Leading wide receivers coming into the season. Now, here's one from 2019 from Dartmouth. No Ivy League in 2020, so he did not play last year. But the last year that he was eligible, in 2019, number 18, Drew Estrada, that's Drew Estrada. He wears number 18 for the Bears now. 50 catches to go with 815 yards, 8 touchdowns. His longest reception, 75 yards. Below him on the uh, guys, what about guys that have played here in Waco and played against the Sooners? Like numero zero, DJ Sneed, 39 catches. 497 on the through the air, three touchdowns, his longest reception, 39 yards, and wide receiver for the Bears last year. Defensively, now this is where Dave Aranda makes his name, guys. Ask LSU. Ask us Sooners. They actually held, uh, remember that big, nasty Georgia Peach Bowl, ugh, and what their defense did to us. Remember how Baylor kind of contained us through 
quite a bit of last year. That's because of the Baylor defense. And Jalen Petrie is back with them, as is Dylan Doyle. We'll start with Petrie. Jalen Petrie, 60 total tackles last year, zero forced fumbles, zero fumbles recovered, two picks from the safety position. Also, the linebacker, 44, Dill Dillian Doyle. Doyle, 56 total tackles last year, one forced fumble, one fumble recovered, zero picks from the linebacker position. So you talk offense, you talk defense. Let's talk a little special teams now. That includes 43 Isaac Powers on punter and John Myers on kicker. We'll start with the punting attack. 43 Isaac Powers, 54 total punts last year. 40.6 an average, four punts, four touchbacks, 11 inside the 20-yard line, and a long punt, 66 yards. And finally, the kicker, John Meyer, or Mayers, M-A-Y-E-R-S, John Mayers, 10 for 15, 66.7% completion ranking, and 48%. And 48. That was his longest kick. Guys, we are nine weeks away from the OU opener, ten weeks away from the first OU uh, home game. How exciting is that going to be, huh? Yeah! Even though it will be against Western Carolina. And if you don't know the stats on that yet, get online, look them up. Because uh, it's Stripe the Stadium Day, and they're doing it a bit differently. All that information you can find at Soonersports.com. While you're doing that, you might want some relaxing stuff to listen to. Like a podcast. Got you for that. The Inside OU Podcast, Brady, Trantham, Keegan, and Renault, they do a great job on this podcast here. They also do through here. It's straight through the keyhole. The Through the Keyhole is a Patreon uh, subscription deal. Five bucks a month gets you these video film reviews from Keegan and the podcast. Four dollars if you just want the podcast. From Keegan and Brady. That's it, guys. Next week, we'll preview Iowa State in the Cyclones, which will be, by the way, Oklahoma's senior night. One final home game to preview, guys. Oh, we're getting there. Can you feel it? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Harry James. You can catch this on all my other videos. YouTube, Boomer 1982. Also, Facebook, Harry James Taylor, or on the Twitter box. At Hype Man Harry. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and boomer sooner, everybody. Take care. I'm out of here. Peace.